All right. Welcome back to King's Quest V. So heading back into the town... It's you again, is it? We still don't have any shoes for sale. Oh, but... I've got shoes. The finest pair of shoes Graham's ever seen, although a bit small for his feet. Okay, do we show it to you? No? There we go. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather's soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of the shoes is superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, I could retire with the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find any use for them. You're a, you're a godsend, young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could come in mighty useful on my journey. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Alright, nice. Now, how about... May I help you, sir? Okay, we want to... And now for him, we want to give him the gold needle. My gold needle! Wherever did you find it? It's found in a haystack by the inn. By the inn? Oh yes, I remember visiting there not long ago. Vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it'll help me in my travels. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. In the toy shop. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Okay. Show him the marionette. Where did you get this wonderful marionette? The craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled and trade. Right, of course, but I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality, I don't know. So, can I can have the sled? Yes, yes, take it, it's yours. Thank you very much. I think I'll find the sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and thank you for the marionette. Nice. And now let us head back to the inn... Uh, gentlemen, please excuse me. The inn's full. Ain't got no more rooms. Hey, boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. 
Ow. Sorry, Lizzie. Mike Graham can't escape his bonds, but... Yeah, because we rescued the rat earlier. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me that hor from that horrible cat. Good luck, friend. Nice. Now, we do... Oh, uh. No. Take the remains of the rope. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. A small set of rickety wooden stairs lay up to the cellar door. Is there... Okay, maybe I just need to... And he used the hammer on the lock to break it. There we go. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the padlock until it breaks apart. At the back of the room, Graham spies a large ki kitchen cupboard. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Sounds good. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg, savory leg of lamb. And then sneak out this way. Graham unlocks the kitchen door before going outside. Yeah, if we go out, try to go out the other way and... Uh, and this time, those guys will kill us for good. Someone's locked the door again. Okay, no problem. Okay, we got what we need from there, though. We got the... Yeah, the rope and the leg of lamb. Lamb is good, though, but it's expensive. Roasted a leg of lamb before, but it wasn't cheap. Okay, we got the snake again. Now, as far as how to deal with it, in a pretty mundane manner, we use the tambourine on it. If that makes much sense. Frightened by the noisy tambourine, the snake reluctantly slithers away. Okay, and now we start our trek up the mountain, and this is this leads into an entirely new part of the game for us. A few hours later. Graham begins to shiver at the sudden drop in temperature. Alright, this is... We need that cloak. The thick cloak warms Graham's cold and shivering body, bringing him new strength. The remains of an old tree poke out of the mountainside near an upper ledge. Graham notices a rock overhanging an upper ledge. 
Okay, at this point, we need to use the rope. We need to use it on the rock piece, not the not the branch, or it will break, and uh, Graham will fall and die. Graham knows his strength beginning to rumble with hunger, his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger from the exertion of the mountain climb. Can I, can I climb this first, or... Oh my god! Oops, that was a fatal step. Graham, you idiot. What this is missing, however, is the... The comically... The very comical scream he makes in the PC version when he falls off the mountain. In any of these scenarios. It's it's hilarious. There we go. Ooh, do be careful, Graham! Okay. Okay, at this point, there are a couple of things we can eat. We could eat the pie, but that will that will lock us out of the rest of the game. We want to eat the leg of lamb. Graham finds the leg of lamb a bit tough, but tasty enough. Filling up quickly, he saves the other half for later. Okay, now, here I think it forces us to, to jump to these. Okay, is that good enough? Okay, good. Very good. Graham, you klutzy, dim-witted... Well, I'm glad I saved right beforehand. Ugh. You're worse than me, Con. Are you kidding me? Even the save didn't... Oh my god. At least Mekon gives us fan service when she trips and falls. You? You're a lost cause. Okay, can you walk five feet without falling off? Thank you, Graham. Oh. Oh, God. Cedric! Bye, Cedric. Nice knowing you. He got eated. <laughs> Graham, you suck. <laughs> Okay, we got... Mm. 
Now here we need, we have to use the sled to go down this, uh, go down this hill. Whee! Oof. <laughs> Drat, my sled is broken. <laughs> Graham's sled lies in several broken pieces on the snowy path. Shivering Eagle perches weakly upon a small rock. Despite his own problems, Graham's heart goes out to the poor thing. What's wrong, Mr. Uh, Eagle? I'm so weak from hunger. I haven't been able to catch any food for days. I can barely fly anymore. I'd love to help you. Uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. I need food. <laughs> okay, let's give him... We did save the other half of that leg of lamb, so let's give that to him. Here you are. If this would help you... You're a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in the snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve. What kind of person would I be? You've shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I'll not forget what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. Oh, the fly like an eagle is certainly not going to fit. Queen Isabella, and now you have men entered my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there... Oh yeah, you can see Cedric in the cage over there. ...have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or my knowledge, I have decided you shall both be locked in a cave. Take him away, my pets. Okay, we have just a second to to react. We have to play the harp. It's not a per Oh, what? Thanks for playing King's Quest 5. Ugh.
Why is why is it not working? I know I'm supposed to use the to use the harp. Don't try to tell me otherwise. Maybe I have to use it myself to play it. There we go. Wait, my pets. That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite like that before. I think I felt my heart melting just a little bit. Just enough, that is, to allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious yeti has entered the area and taken up the residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I've been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid me of the Yeti, I will release both you and your owl friend, and you two can continue with your journey unhindered. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the Yeti. If you succeed, you will have my undying gratitude. Go with him, Sir Greywolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. Yonder's the crystal cave. There you'll find the Yeti. Yes, that's how he talks in the original game. Can we say anything more to him? Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to conquer a Yeti. Why, he's got to be t at least twice as big as me and much, much more powerful. What do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabella, and I must carry out her wishes. Now, no more talking. Go to the Crystal Cave. Okay. The Yeti! Oh. <laughs> God. You suck, Graham. Oh. oh, okay, here he comes. Okay! Pop quiz, guys. What's the best weapon to use on a Yeti? Do we, uh, do we play the harp and entrance him with our music? No? What an abominable situation. You... you fell through a literal crack, Graham. Have I said you suck yet? Enough times. Ooh, I know. Let's... Let's bash him with a hammer. No? Not good enough? No. 
No. Okay. Hopefully, no more screwing around unless Graham decides to randomly fall again like a... Okay. No. You throw the fucking pie at him. Yes. That's how you beat the Yeti. You throw a pie in his face. What the hell? Before we head back, um... Yeah, we have to... Wait. No, let's... One particularly brilliant crystal catches Graham's attention among all the other glittering crystals in the cave. Okay. Might be easy to overlook, but... We use the hammer to take a piece of that crystal. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He carefully places it among his other possessions. I say the Yeti is gone. Queen Isabella will be pleased. Come, follow me. Ah, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Yes, Your Majesty. The Yeti is gone. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are my friend and I free to go now? Yes, I keep my promises. I want to thank you for ridding the mountain domain of the horrible Yeti. Please rise, King Graham. Yes, I do know who you are, and I have been informed of your quest. I do wish your luck against the wizard Mordak. You two may go. We wish you well on your difficult journey. Sir Grey Wolf will show you the way out of the mountains. Thank you, Your Majesty. Follow the path to the east. That's the way over the mountains. Thank you for your help. We got grabbed by a bird. Giant rock, in fact. Uh. Okay, uh, oh wait. Oh shit. Okay, grab. Graham rescues a lovely golden locket from the clutches of the rock's nest. Yeah, you smell the rock is cooking. Hang on, I'll get you out of this. Huh, thank you.
down. This, okay, that's really hard to see, but Gramnos is a rusty iron bar lying on the sand near the bottom of the winding path. built into the side of the unusual house. An old ship's bell captures Graham's attention. Let's ring the bell. Who are you? What are you doing on my beach? Damn kids today! I'm King Graham of Daventry. I'm on a journey to find the wizard Mordax Island, but I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Yeah, what's that you say? I said, do you know how to get to the wizard Mordax Island? Can't understand a thing you said! Gotta speak up, boy! Get on out of here! Okay, he's not of much help to us right now. A small sailboat waits patiently on the beach. Cool. Let's use it. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat. Hi, hi, Captain! Watch out! There's a hole in the boat! What? Wow. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, that is such a... That was an asshole move of the game. I don't think you even... Yeah, looking at the boat, we don't even... You wouldn't even know there's a hole in it until... Until you use it and... And you find that out. So you're actually supposed to use the piece of beeswax... To seal the hole. Firmly, Graham pushes the pliable beeswax into the small hole in the old boat's bottom and hopes he'll do the trick. Okay, now we can move about. Not too much, though, or else a sea monster will attack us and kill us. Ah, here we go. Look, Ram, an island! Perhaps we should explore it! Yes, I think we should, Cedric.
Yep. Rip, Cedric. Grim, help me! Oh, shit. Uh. Where'd you find him, Minota? I found him on the beach. Mm, isn't he luscious? What do you think, Krulina? I don't know. He doesn't look like my type. Don't be so picky. I'm tired of fish. I haven't had a man in months. Okay, we've got... we got some harpies here deciding how they want to... How they want to eat us. So let's let's play the harp for them instead. What is he doing? What's that thing? I don't know, but I want it. Hey, that's not fair. Okay. While keeping a sharp eye out for the harpies, Graham quickly bends down and rescues the fish hook from the ground. Okay. We got a fish hook. Uh, how do I get out of here? Up oh, there, through here. Okay. Up. Oh. Yeah, rip Cedric. Poor Cedric, having been seriously wounded by the vicious harpies, he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sandy path. Graham gently carries his friend Cedric, who's been wounded by the horrible harpies. Wait, are we going to get a chance to, to grab that thing on the beach? Okay, thank you. Graham bends over and picks up the beautifully colored shell. Graham can almost hear the ocean inside the spiral shell of the conch. This is a rusted old fish hook. Golden lock on top of the chain. Heavy iron bar. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's try this again. I can't help you! Okay, give him the shell. What's this? It might help you hear what I'm saying. Uh, what were you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded by the harpies. Wounded by the harpies, did you say? Oh, bring him into the house. I'll fix him right up. Good as new. All right. They 
these poultices should fix the little fella up good as new. I'm feeling better already. Ooh, tell me, what was in these poultices? My employer would be very interested in them. Uh, what was that? I said, what was in those poultices? My employer would be interested in them. Ooh. Gifts from the sea, lad. Gifts from the sea. Ain't nothing special. You just gotta know how to use them. I don't think you'd find them particularly interesting. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to figure out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it's too late. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear about that. He's a nasty one, that Mordak. I wouldn't taint with him. I try to talk you out of going there, except I can't. I can see that you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. I can help you there, son. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. Hurl! Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordax Island. It's a real emergency. Mordax holding his family hostage. Bro can't speak human talk, but she's agreed to help you. Just get onto your boat and follow her. I want to thank you for your, all your help, Mr. Uh... And don't worry about who I am. You just get on over to that there island and take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. All right. As our mermaid friend shows us the way. few hours later. Oh no! Watch out for the rocks, Graham! Brace yourself, Cedric. Uh, dead. Nope, not quite. I hear another fish. Yeah, I guess we do have another fish. Okay. Well, um... Bit shaken. Cedric anxiously takes stock of their unsure situation. But I think, uh... This is another good cutoff. Hopefully, next time, we should be able to finish the game off. As we're in the final area of it. So, um, thank you all for watching. Hope you're liking this. I'll see you then. I'm playing a game.